Hello guys, we're on the Feed the Void server, and today we've got some stuff to do. As you can see, I am nicely suited up. I have got some quantum boots, some quantum pants, and a quantum helmet. I've been to work. I still don't have my quantum chest plate. Or not my quantum... Yeah, I still don't have the quantum chest plate, and I don't have my uh, gravity plate. Which is shitty, but... It's too big of a project. I, I gotta still work on it a little bit more, but I, I was too into doing other things. So... Yeah, I'll show you what I was doing. You can see one of the things behind you. Um, I mean, behind me. But, yeah, I rebuilt the Infernal Furnace, and I decided I really wanted to do it right this time. Like, I wanted to actually have a system so that when it just spit out the items, it didn't just, you know, leave them there, and they could despawn, you know. And also, I didn't want to have to, like, climb up to the top to throw the items in every time. So, at first, I just had this one side built, you know, but then I needed to make it symmetrical, so that's the only reason I built it on both sides. Um, I know it's pointless, <laughs> but anyways, let's, uh, yeah, I got some tin here I can cook, but what I found out about this, um, is it creates flux, so, yeah, when you cook stuff, bad magic goes into the air, and so you can see it shoot down into there, and then it'll shoot out into there, and go into these chests, and sometimes this thing gives you a bonus item too, so I think we could get, like, tin nuggets from this. I'm fi I think. Maybe not from dust, though. I'm not sure. Not sure, though. But I know you can sometimes get bonus items, which is cool. And it just goes into these chests, and that's awesome. But yeah, I've been I've been <laughs> making f a bunch of flux, and yeah, let's put our goggles on right now, just so we can um, see what's going on with the flux. the The flux will go up when you the more stuff you cook. It's only moderate right now, though, so it's not too too bad. Um, let's go see if there's any wisps. Um, I had to fight one earlier, and it was not good. Those things are a little bit annoying to fight. Yeah, okay, there's not, there's no wisp here. Um, but that's where I found the last one. I don't know if they spawn, like, always, like, right under this thing, and, like, do they, like, fly around? Like, like, could it eventually, like, make its, like, could I fill spawn with wisps if I wasn't careful? I don't know. Um, but... Somebody said something about I can spawn a, a giant a giant zombie, angry zombie or something, if I'm not careful. But I, they're probably just trolling me, but that would suck. Um, I haven't been watching enough videos to know if that's actually true or not. Um, yeah, so Kepler fixed the, the nether hub, or he started a nether hub, which is kind of awesome. Um, looks pretty good. Uh, we haven't really, we don't really have any ways for it yet. Oh, I see. He gets a double. <laughs> I guess he did build it. Um, but I almost think that these big paths should be to, like, community places. Like, maybe another hub could be one of them. Like, this way could go to another hub for their expansion, like he planned. And then maybe, say, if we had, like, a huge mob farm or something like that, one of them could go that way. And then to the end, you know, one way. That's That's what I'm thinking, but... I don't want to take away your spot, Cap, but um, that's my idea for it. And then it just kind of makes sense. You know, the big ways are to community things, and the individual ones are for individual people's houses. But <clears throat> that's my only thoughts on the hub. Other than that, it is great, and I'm glad he did it because... <laughs> yeah, I'll toggle it. So, other things. Other things that have been going on. I kind of set up these because I was, like, I got sick of walking so far to take my items from my quarry. So I made some portals, you know, storage room right here and then the quarry area. So we got the quarry area here, and this quarry is done. I have cleared out all the UU from it. Um, you can see it right over here. I, I probably used a bunch of it too, but we have 29 stacks, so we're pretty good for UU. I expanded the barrels as well. That's... I think that's all I didn't hear. Um, oh, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. I lied. Also, I think I fixed the problem. Kepler told me how to do the infinite stream so it would work. And I thought I was going to have to move this so it's like in the middle of the infinite stream, but it's working fine there. I've been pumping water out and into this, and so I have 100% refill water in this now. So that's awesome. Um, 
just I've been doing little things like that just to make everything kind of work nicer together because it was really needed. But yeah, this is done. We've cleared most of the stuff out. We've got a bunch of ores to clear out still. Um, but we cleared out the a few of the bigger chests. And yeah, um, Jaden and Rock lent me their filler to use. And I had to get a bunch of bricks to put in here. Um, but this thing is cool. I'm assuming it's part of the Buildcraft mod. I don't know, but I'm assuming. Because um, it takes Buildcraft power. Um... And so basically you put the items that you want it to use in here and then this the bricks kind of define what kind of what you want it to do. So fill is just that one and then you know this one is walls and then there's another one. I forget how to do it. Yeah, I forget how to do the other one but the bricks are kind of like your crafting recipe for what you want to tell it to do. So and then you just power it with build craft power like this and I don't know what time it is, but let's put the items in there, and yeah, it, the, so it did all this for me. It didn't pl place the torches or anything, but it did the rest, um, which is awesome. And Jaden also contributed some marble for me, because I ran out of marble doing this. I didn't realize how much marble it would take up, but it took up a lot. But I, I did this because I need more space. Um, I really, really need more space for machinery and stuff. So... Um, I was I could just fill these last blocks in really easily, but then I couldn't show you how this thing works. Um, oh yeah, we got a bunch of power in this MFSU, so we should be able to get this going. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just power it and then run, and hopefully we'll, we'll be able to catch it. Uh, uh, no wonder it's not gonna power it. Where'd my redstone go? Oh, I know what happened to it. I had a lava spill earlier. Um, when I was redoing this, like, now I got my lava in a tank, which is much better. <laughs> but, um, redstone, redstone is what I need. Redstone is what I'm going to get. Having those is really easy, or really nice for getting, getting around. Oh, it's, n it's daytime now anyways, I think. Alright, so now we can do this and then run. And it actually did power this time. Oh! Oh, we didn't catch it. <laughs> uh, I thought we could catch it, but we didn't. But it filled in the rest of the blocks. So awesome. So this is done. And now I can start to use this um, this room for whatever. Whatever I want. But I, my plan... I'll t tell you what my plan is. So my plan is to start... I need some food. So that's my plan for today. We're going to work on getting us like a uh, auto farm set up. So to do that we need let's let's type this in here. We need the combine which is made up of all this stuff and these you need to make in a thermonic fabricator and these you need to make in a carpenter. So we need a carpenter and a thermonic fabricator. So that's our first step right there is a carpenter and a thermonic fabricator. So carpenter and I believe this stuff takes build craft power. I believe, I believe. So we can use that power down there, which is perfect. Um. Okay, so I need bronze. Yeah, I need a bunch of bronze and glass. That's all I need. And how do I get bronze again? Bronze dust. Copper and tin. Okay. All right, so we've got a bunch of bronze here that we found. I guess I was thinking ahead, you know. Um, I'm going to make two of those. And then, so what are we making? The carpenter? So we need bronze, and then we need two glass. Where's all my glass? Right here is all my glass. All right. Nice. We got the carpenter. Alright. Now, let's make the thermonic fabricator. This is the one. Thermionic fabricator. That's why I was saying it wrong. So we need some gold and a chest. Oh, I forgot about the chest. <laughs> there we go. So we got a thermonic fabricator. Awesome. So we've got these two things. And then we can start to make the stuff. Yeah. 
So let's uh let's go down to our quarry here. Um and we can get rid of this. So we can just break it. I could just lay th all this stuff all along this wall. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. And then I need some of the gold conductive piping. If you know what I'm saying, homie. Do I have any of that? Oh, you better believe I do. I think this would be the easiest way. I hope I'm getting like better at uh, doing this kind of stuff. Because I, I don't feel like I am, but maybe I am. Okay, we're not getting the beam, so I think we need the the wooden um the wooden conductive, right? Do I have any of those? Oh, you better believe I do. What's wrong? There we go. Now is it being powered? I don't know. Let's try it. So, what did we need to build in the carpenter? So, oh, combine. So it was this, right? So redstone and tin. Man, it's a stormy night, isn't it? Alright, so I don't believe in um, ever not making an infinite stream. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, and now let's uh, put it in here. Nice. Do I, do I, do I need more wa water? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I did not realize. <laughs> Thank you, Jaden. I need to put the materials in the bottom here. And then it'll start to power. Awesome. So now we've got two small circuit boards that don't stack, which is awesome. I love when things just don't stack up. It's the best thing in the world. Now we need some iron and some glass apparently so let's get us some urn whoa 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 i know i have a place for what that's 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 gotta be iron iron and i know i put some over here too so oh yeah i got tons tons man tons okay i actually do have a lot of iron but um no i don't need this machine need this machine okay so let's look at that one more time okay that's this is easy peasy just like a big penis and then you need to put redstone which I don't have right there and then you put some glass in there BAM what's this do Awesome. So now we're golden, aren't we? We got four uh, sturdy casing glass. Yep, we're we're so golden. We got a combine, I believe. So, um, do 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 do. do. Where's my sturdy casing? Nice. So now we got the sturdy casing. Now we can put this in there. Then, um, <laughs> circuit board here. We seriously don't have our glass on us. Nice. We got ourselves a combine. So this is one thing. And then we also need um, the farm. Whoa, infernal farm. That's what we want. I want that as well because that is going to be for nether wart. And that is going to be sick. So I'm going to be doing... This is what I'm going to be doing now. Um, next time you see an episode, I'll probably have all my farms done. Um, I'm going to set up a whole farm system and it's going to have every kind of farm you could even imagine. Is that not just the same exact recipe that we just put in? Alright, so now we just need two more of those... Uh, demonic tubes um so iron and redstone bronze electron tube and i just made <laughs> uh 
I didn't know there were, well, I didn't know, but I didn't clue in to the fact that there was different electron tubes. Okay, so what we really needed um, was some glass and probably the penis of bronze, I'm going to assume, and then some redstone. Yep. Good deal. I get it. I was I was thinking that those two recipes looked the same. <laughs> it's because they were, except for the bronze instead of the iron. So there we go. Now we got a farm. Sweet. So we have a bunch of dirt. So and we have a bunch of appetite. Where is it? Not that much actually, but we have a lot more actually in our uh, quarry chest down here. We have a lot more appetite. Somewhere. Maybe not a lot more. But anyways, I'm going to get these farm things going. And then, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do for next episode. Um, and I'll leave it here for now. And I'll just show you what Z-Cell gave me. This thing is sweet. Uh, I don't know how much it holds. I can't really tell. But I can't really click into it either. No, it doesn't really have an interface. But I can do this. I don't know what that does. Whoops, not that. I don't know what making an orange does, but anyways, yeah, it's a portable tank, which is awesome. So I can just carry this around wherever I want to go. So thank you, Zeso. But yeah, I'm going to work on some farms right over here, and I'll see you next time. Oh, some appetite. Later.